See, I told you I have other jumpers. I don't just wear my boyfriend's, although his jumpers are so comfy. I had to give one of his sweaters back the other day and I really wasn't happy. <laughs> hey all, it's Flo. So today I thought I'd talk to you guys about being trans in a school and kind of my five tips to kind of make life and dysphoria suck less. So. Weep. I may talk about my experiences in a different video, but I need to try and find a way of shortening that down because I talk a lot. <laughs> so the first tip is this is a lot becoming a lot easier to do and I know a lot of schools and a lot of places are now introducing gender neutral toilets, but I know that it is the law for any new buildings to have disabled toilets. So, take advantage of that. Um, I know I did, particularly in my sixth form, um, but my school had a lot of old buildings, so I think there are only about two or three of them that had disabled toilets in them. Some of them had disabled cubicles, but they were all inside, like, the segregated ones, and the only gender neutral ones that there were were staff ones. So, I think take advantage of the disabled toilets and use them because although you, you may not like people may go oh, you don't have a disability but they have no idea just because it's not visible doesn't mean that it's not there so and most people don't don't really bother like i would use the disabled toilets all the time um i think also well the next tip is to kind of use your so if you want your name changed then kind of use it as a nickname so my birth name is quite feminine so I got my teachers or most of my teachers did it anyway because it's eight letters long and they can't be bothered to spell it or pronounce it so but I kind of said instead of like coming out and being like oh yeah I'm trans and I prefer it and I have to swear and all that I just kind of said that I prefer it and that Flo was a nickname so I think if there is a shortened or less or, or a, like a shortened or abbreviated form of your name that you're more comfortable with, go with that. Um, especially with a lot of like more older and conservative teachers, it's a lot easier. So pass your new name off as like a nickname, unless it's something really, unless you're like your birth name was Gabriel and then you're changing it to, I don't know, Dylan. So, you know, three years that. Tell, tell teachers that you're comfortable with. Um, I know it's quite hard. Um, I told some teachers, I didn't tell all my teachers, I think I told all of them apart from two. And they were all very much like, okay, cool. So, it's harder, but we're in the 21st century, so you can write the letter, you can send them an email. Most teachers would be like, cool. I only didn't tell two of my teachers because they were older teachers, so I wasn't quite sure, like with regards to the age gap and kind of the, you know, the way that they were brought up and all that because, but most teachers really won't mind and obviously only come out if you think that you'll, you'll benefit from it, so you don't have to. And often coming out to teachers and even like counsellors and stuff, it can get you onto the road of like being able to wear a skirt or trousers. So. Express your identity in other ways. So I, I cut my hair at age 15. I would wear shorts instead of a skirt in games. I would wear boys socks in games. I would wear boys trainers. I would have like a more, I would have boys rucksacks. So just things that can make you feel more comfortable. That would be allowed in your school. And it's just kind of those little ways of slipping in your identity and kind of your 
expressing itself and being who you are and making it that little bit easier so yeah and the last tip is this will end just remember that eventually you will leave school you'll go to university or college or wherever and you will not be forced to wear a skirt forever you will not be forced to wear trousers forever you will not be that this is just 20 years of your life maybe not even that well, actually it's 15 15 years of your life and you have your whole life ahead of you to wear whatever you want to dress however you want to be whoever you want this is the only time that you will be suppressed and controlled in the way that you are so I I was very much comforted by that idea by the fact that I will get out of the school and when I go to uni I can wear whatever I want you know I know a lot of people who have come out of the school and have like completely I don't want to say let themselves go but have like dyed their hair or cut their hair or worn something that you know that is them and that makes them happy so so that is everything i hope you guys found that at least a little a little bit helpful um i will probably share my experience with being trans at school but that's for another video um if you guys want to see that then let me know and i shall see you next saturday um stay safe and over and out <laughs>